I'm here in my robe. I got this new Turkish, uh, Turkish cotton uh, robe that I bought online. I love this thing. It's heavy and uh, keeps me warm. Uh, anyway, I, I've been nervous for about the last week because I just found out about this, uh, uh, the end of last week, uh, or this, you know, this week. Uh, I think I found out about it Thursday or Wednesday of this week. Uh, I went in for my pre-op uh, exam uh, on Saturday. Or was it Friday? I think it was Friday. Anyway, a couple of days ago, um, I got some things I got to get down, like my blood pressure and stuff like that, before they operate. And uh, hopefully that'll be good by the time I go and get operated on, which will be Tuesday. I don't know what time. And uh, Donna Evans, my friend, uh, uh, everybody's friend in this valley, I'm telling you, this woman's a hero when it comes to people in need. Anyway, she's going to take me to Bozeman and be there with me when I get operated on and bring me home. And then I've got a couple of people that are going to walk, you know, peek in on me every once in a while. Um, I've got a lot of friends in this valley, so they they're going to take care of me and make sure I'm not dead. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got my donut ready to go that I'll be burying my head into for three days or however long I'm supposed to. Uh, Penny Hall, who is uh, one of my friends, going to be checking in on me, had this done to her, but she didn't have the luxury of a donut like this. She, I don't know how she did it, but she had to keep her head down for 14 days and 14 nights back in 2006. Uh, the operation has changed a little, I guess, uh, since then. I don't know. Uh, it was only two years old, this whole operation and procedure when she had it done. She had both eyes that had to be worked on, so that was 14 days per eye. And she had to have one eye, and she had to have one eye done again, which uh, made it uh, almost a month and a half with her head down. Uh, of course, she had periods between, but still, I mean, that's mind-boggling what she went through. Anyway, she'll be checking in on me tomorrow. I've got to uh, I want to show her and uh, Donna, who are going to be taking care of me uh, occasionally when they come over, um, show them where the food I have set up for while I'm, I, because I can't cook while I'm doing this. I can only stand up for five minutes at a time for an hour, at every hour, uh, but mostly i got to keep my head down. That's so the bubble, the air bubble they put in my right eye will press up against the back of the eye and push the collapsed wall back into place and that's what's causing the macular uh, hole in my eye so anyway um, just wanted to give you an update uh, I'll be fine I'm not I'm not worried today I'm I'm ready to get this done tomorrow I've got to uh, go the whole day without eating unless I don't I have the operation on Tuesday but right now it looks like I've go the whole day with just water and uh, no no food so I'll be fasting for 24 hours before the uh, operation all right that's uh, basically it and I'll let you guys uh, know what's going on when it, I know and uh, but uh, I appreciate all your kind thoughts in my last video about this and and I really do appreciate all of you very much it means a lot to me so I'm going to get ready for bed now, and uh, <sighs> I'm tired. It's been a long day. I've been cleaning my room and doing some laundry and stuff like that, and just getting ready for this uh, possible adventure that I'm going to be going on. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you when I see you next time.